Hi, I'm John McWilliams from Poison Experience Pet Services in Rockaway, New Jersey. Another helpful hint for us dog owners. One of the joys of having a dog is taking them out in public, just going out in, into a park, a field, maybe go out hiking with them, maybe just go out for lunch and sit, sit at an outdoor cafe. Many times though, if we do take them out, we are gonna be away from our homes, we are gonna be away from our cars, and we're gonna need certain things. Those of us taking our dogs out for several hours just to enjoy their company, I do recommend making like a little bag, a little travel kit for them. A couple of things that you wanna put in there. It's a secondary leash, just in case your first leash breaks. You never know, you never know out there. I mean, metal breaks all the time, stitches come undone. So you always wanna make sure you have something else. So if you have like a cheap leash at home, just go over and throw it in there, just in case you do need it. Do recommend that you have a nice long leash, especially if you're going to a park, going to the beach. You wanna let the dog run around, but you don't want him running free. You don't want him ever stepping foot in traffic, okay, unless you're there with him holding that leash. So a nice secondary leash. I like putting another collar in my bag, just in case the first collar breaks. I can make an emergency collar with my leash, but a lot of times though, if I'm far, far away, I really don't want that on them for extended periods of time. I'm gonna go over and carry another collar. I'm gonna carry, of course, bags to pick up his mess, okay? One of the worst things in the world that we do to ourselves as pet owners is that we, we leave the stuff on the ground, and then of course the towns make ordinances telling us that we can't be in that area. Do recommend that if we're going to lunch, we're going to be hanging out with the dog for a while, bring a toy or two, something that you can put a treat inside and entertain him, especially if you're going to lunch, especially if you're going to be sitting around and just enjoying his company quietly. You do want to go over and give him a bone or something to go over and let him chew it. Okay, it's fair. If I'm eating, this dog might as well have something to eat too. I do recommend you bring a bottle of water with you because sometimes you're going to be in the middle of nowhere. There's going to be no water available and obviously some kind of a bowl, a cup, or something like that. You go over and you put all that in your bag, you strap it on your shoulders and go out for a walk. Now if anything should happen, the leash breaks, the collar breaks, your dog gets thirsty, or you just want to sit down and relax with your dog, you're covered. There's no muss and fuss. It's already been done. You thought ahead of time. This is just another helpful hint from Positive Experience, TrainerDog.com.